Hey everybody, so today we just got done putting a leech box in for my dad. His leech field filled a couple weeks ago and he's been limping along. Anyways, since we had the Mini X, we're gonna finish connecting our garage to our uh, septic system that we installed a couple months ago. And we are gonna dig a trench to finally get power to the house or to the shop here. Our wire finally came in. We're going 300 foot underground. So I've got a generator transfer switch I'm gonna mount somewhere on the shop here. Not quite sure where I'm gonna put it. And that big roll of wire back there, that's 300 foot of number or four aught. I think that's what it is. Anyways, we gotta dig a 300 foot trench. Our power poles and trees over there. It's gonna come over to the shop somewhere. And we're gonna pull the motorhome out of the way right where I got the motorhome hooked up. That's a, a combo right off the end of that. I got it capped. We're gonna come underground right here, right to that two by four that's sticking out of the ground. That's the plan for a day. that the uh, excavator is gonna just make it a lot more work and we went and, went and picked up this uh, trencher on a skid steer so hopefully it uh, does what we need it to do this is the transfer switch that we're gonna be installing that thing is huge so now I got to try to figure out where where we're gonna put it if I could put it on this wall here next to that door, I would have to only go this far with wire into my boiler room here where we're gonna put the panel. That'll fit there. I don't know if it's gonna look good. I wonder if I should I'll cut this door out. Thank you. 
we decided we're going to mount the transfer switch on this wall. Trench should work pretty good. Work better in the silt. Where there was rocks, you can see it kind of hopped a little bit. So we're gonna have to smooth all that out before we can put the wire in there. It's pretty smooth where there was just silt though. Ready to go. We put the wire and conduit where we'll be driving our vehicles to help protect it. Don't just drop it. did not I think it only got 300 feet of that and then this was 303 well, last night we got our wire buried we're in the ground we got the flagging on top then we started thinking about internet so we're gonna run I'm not sure what we're gonna do here yet for internet before we bury this might put some uh, conduit in the ground or maybe we'll just bury coax got to figure that out today so we can finish this up but while i still have the mini x we are going to get our septic connected from there to the shop where that two by four is sticking out of the ground there so we had to fire up our house and we're going to get it moved i got that slide out in and that slide out We've got everything picked up here we're going to pull it forward so we can dig our trench okay so here's what we got going here when we build our house our house is going to go right here that way it's coming right, right off the edge of the shop here four feet in we're on foundation wall and then what this is right here, this little 10 by 10 kick out, that's going to be our root cellar. So our uh, septic line 
is right here. It needs to go to right there, which is right where our root cellar is gonna be. My original plan was to go this way and around the root cellar, but I don't want any 45s or anything in the pipe out there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come out straight under the house. And then we're gonna drop this tree, get it out of here. It's gonna be a straight shot into the tank. Then we miss the root cellar and we don't have any bends in the in the in the sewer line out there. So what we did here, when we first were figuring out elevations and where everything was gonna end up being, what I did is I came off of this tree and I put a nail, see the nail right there? That was my base elevation. And what I wanted was my shop and my house to be one foot higher than that nail. So when I set everything, I set the septic tank based off that nail and when i i knew when i when i came back to put this line in at a later date i knew i wanted to leave my crawl space three feet below grade which is two feet to that nail so if i drop a tape from here to there i should be about two feet to the nail i will have a foot of dirt on top of it because you can see my concrete Top of my concrete is one foot higher than that. And this is where my Fox block or arcs block, whatever I do for my foundation will be flush with the concrete slab. So if I didn't go too deep, we should be two feet right here. Yeah, we're about three feet, so we need to come. Just got a little too deep right here. I'm up about a six to nine inches. Well, the leaves are starting to fall off. Last year they were not falling until pretty much after hunting season. Anyways, so what we got, got the pipe in, got foam underneath it, foam on both sides. Now we're going to cap this with six inches of foam.
Well, we got her all set back up. Hooked up to the sewer tank again. Got heat going in there again. Kind of landscaped here. Tomorrow, hopefully I figure out what we're gonna do for our internet. Wire so I get this buried and can't stand these piles and trenches everywhere. We're going to hopefully tomorrow after we get that done, if we can get that done, we're going to get up here on the roof, get the drip edge on, get the ice and water shield and the tar paper on. Try to get it closed in tomorrow. That's the plan. Well, today is September 2nd. Definitely a chill on there today. It's going to be an awesome day. A lot of people are out moose hunting right now. It opened yesterday. And uh, we're going to be putting drip edge and tar paper on. They just got done bending up my drip edge. So I'm going to go pick that up. And when I get home, we'll start, start getting that installed. Also, we're going to get this transfer switch mounted today. I had uh, the same place. They also cut some uh, sheet metal, some black sheet metal for me to put behind it. It's going to go right on the wall right here. I'm thinking that these are just a little bit short. The wires didn't make it quite as far as I thought they were going to. But we're going to be able to make it work. So Owen and I, or Aaron and I, we were putting on the uh, ice and water shield. We're gonna get the other side done, start putting the drip edge on. Miranda and Owen, we're putting the Tyvek wrap on. And guy just dropped off of this. This is our internet coax cable. We're gonna bury, get that. My dad's coming over and he's gonna take care of that. So we finally get this trench buried. So we can drive around here again. Also, we got a bike to get this mounted today. Here's the piece of sheet metal we got. Black piece of sheet metal. So that's what we uh getting stuff done. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'd like to have all the we bought this new synthetic tar paper crap. We're gonna put it on. Got the garage done. Got half the shop done. This half the shop, since our house is gonna, the roof lines are gonna tie in next year. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna ice and water shield this side for the winter. And uh, then next summer when we tie the two roofs together, we'll cut out what we need to. And uh, I don't know. I don't think this stuff would make it the winter. I'm not going to rely on that. I'm just going to spend a little bit of money on that ice and water shield. But hopefully tomorrow, I didn't buy enough of the ice and water shield. So hopefully tomorrow we uh, get this side done if it ain't raining. Pretty cool sky tonight. From up here, you can see our property island all the way to the big trees way over there. And actually farther than that, all that.
So the boys and I spent all day putting drip edge on, getting nice and water sealed, getting the new, that new synthetic uh, underlayment on. And now what we're gonna do, the boys went to help Darren try to get his to where we are, cause he's actually got guys coming to shingle his shop tomorrow. Anyways, Miranda and I are gonna try to get our transfer switch. Oh, and dad came over he buried this trench for me today with with Owen anyways we're gonna get that on the wall right there and then see if we can't get the transfer switch mounted and maybe get the wires landed to it tonight before it gets dark we'll see Got the hole drilled. We're gonna go send the feeder wire to the panel. We got some marks here. Hopefully, everything lines up. Wires are just barely long enough. Gotta go there. Not sure if you can hear that, but that's my boys over there helping Darren try to get his uh, his uh, tar paper or synthetic underlayment, whatever that crap is called on. But anyways, we got that mounted. Tomorrow we're gonna get it hooked up. Hopefully we got power tomorrow. Won't have to run this generator every night. But anyways, it's 10 o'clock. We're gonna call it a night, get up early, and uh, keep hammering away. Got the wires landed at the uh, cutoff switch here. Throw the ground rod in right there. Get ready to shovel this, backfill this, and uh, move on to other things. So I just uh, made final connections out here. Yesterday, the boys and my dad backfilled this trench. This is how far we went underground. And into the... Same clock. Been going at this all day. Boys are putting the tie back on. I'm working on landing the feeder wires for the panel. Hopefully we have power tonight. Okay, we got the panel. Panel's finally hooked up. Got the main power coming in here. 
I need a bigger ground lug. I'm gonna I'm gonna just make this work for the night. But other than that, we are hooked up. I'm gonna eat dinner. It's like 8:30 or 8:20 or something like that. We're gonna eat some ribs. It's Labor Day, and I'm gonna come right back out here, and I'm gonna mount a breaker. I'm gonna throw a box in right down here, or a reset, just so I can point the motor home. Okay, well we're gonna see if this works, evidently. So I'm out here at my uh, meter. Okay, we finally got power. Got a temporary outlet hooked up down there. Got power to the motorhome. No more fuel in the generator. Got a lot done today. The boys got a lot of tie back on this evening. The boys also packed up all the shingles. Plus we got Ice and water shield on this little side here. This will not get shingled this year because we're going to build our house right in front right here. So the roof lines will tie together next year and we'll shingle that when we do the house. Uh, we got all the drip, drip edge on the day. Uh, Dad and the boys put foam. <clears throat> we put two foot of foam around the base right here, down at the bottom of the footer. Put two, two foot of foam at an angle. And then dad backfilled around the garage here. I'll do this up here later. Anyways, getting closer. It's a lot of work, it's a big building.